Hello, I'm CJ Willeman, and in this episode, we reveal how stand-up comedians are successfully exposing Israeli lies and war crimes. But first, please remember to like and subscribe to our show. Now let's get into it. Comedy allows people to bond because laughter is a universal language. And when someone is laughing, they are more open to talking about deeper issues and therefore more open to examining their own prejudices. For this very reason, a dozen Muslim American comics toured the United States a full decade ago to combat misinformation about Islam and the government's repressive surveillance methods used against Muslims under the guise of the so-called War on Terror. People often will ask me, where are you from? What's your background? And I'll say Palestinian, because I can tell they're not asking about my white side. You know. <laughs> And to be honest, they don't, there's not, there's not a lot of follow-up questions when you say you're Palestinian. Even though I. Because if you say you're Italian, oh, you're Italian, hey, paisan, lasagna, spaghetti, meatballs, vino, mafia, right? You can connect to something. You're Irish, four-leaf clovers, leprechauns, the fighting Irish, you like to drink, right? They're stereotypes. Oh, you're Palestinian. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tough situation. Like, I would be okay with a follow-up question like, so what kind of rocks do you like to throw? Do you have a preference? <laughs> like an igneous rock or a sedimentary rock? Or, or do you just throw rubble from your broken home? Or do you just prefer that? Today, the broader comedy world is joining in on the act and using laughter to shine a light on Israel's criminality and barbarity. But before we present our showcase of comedians, it's important to identify what's most definitely not funny. That the Zionist state's genocidal operations have now surpassed one full year, resulting in anywhere from 50,000 to 350,000 casualties as Israeli military aggression extends into Lebanon and beyond. We are talking about a colossal and inexcusable level of death and destruction, leaving Palestinians and the people of southern Lebanon vulnerable to starvation, disease and despair long after the bombs stopped falling on Gaza. The good news is the Western world is finally hardening its views towards Israel, leaving the Jewish state on the brink of collapse. But in a desperate effort to save itself from diplomatic and economic isolation, the Zionist regime has sent its Hasbara efforts into overdrive, spending more than $70 million on YouTube ads during the first weeks of the genocide alone, while also funneling millions of dollars more towards online personalities and influencers to repair and rehabilitate the country's reputation and brand. Our job then, as morally guided activists, is to counter the Zionist state's propaganda campaign and to ensure the entire world never unsees or forgets the unmistakable evil Israel has unleashed against Palestine and Lebanon, which is why prominent stand-up comics are now using their unique skills and talent to shine a light on the lies that underpin Zionist Hasbara, as beautifully articulated here by famous British Jewish comedian Alexi Sales. If you see anybody advocating for Israel on the TV or radio, one of their repellent spokespeople say, then they will be lying, because that's what they do. They lie, and 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 they lie. And they lie, and they lie. Comedy is one of the most effective tools for highlighting systemic injustices. Because when you elicit laughter, you frame human rights issues in a more emotional and human context. Said differently, funny and entertaining content helps engage and motivate people around challenging or controversial issues because it pulls people in and creates a positive emotional connection, which in turn inspires engagement and action. The author of this book argues that the rise of social media has not only disrupted dominant and racist narratives in the mainstream media, 
but also created conditions for boundary pushing socially critical comedy to play a strategic role in efforts that call attention to Israel's genocidal campaign in Palestine and Lebanon. And hardly anyone has been more effective in using comedy as a weapon against Zionist deceit and deception than Egyptian comedian Bassem Youssef, who recently revealed how Israelis overwhelm their critics with a deluge of lies and falsehoods. I really applaud Israel for doing one thing that no military force in the world does. Because I heard, I heard Ben Shapiro and I heard Ron DeSantis, and they said, they said, Israel is the only military force in the world that warns civilians before bombing them. I mean, how cute. That is so nice of them. So, because with this logic, if Russian troops started warning Ukrainians before bombing their houses, we're cool with Putin, right? I mean, okay, Habibi, you have uh, warned them, go invade. It's fine. You have done your job. Israel always victimizes itself. And I have never seen a victim putting their oppressor under siege and bombing them 24-7. Israel wants you to believe that they are the victim. Bassam's comedic wit has since inspired a slew of lesser known comics around the world into using their talents as a battering ram against Zionist propaganda, including the Israeli told lie that claims Palestine was a land without a people for a people without a land. Israel and Russia? <laughs> you came to the right show, so what brings you to Sofia? Oh, uh, are you working on the uh, pagers or walkie-talkies? <laughs> What's your domain? <laughs> what are you studying, man? Uh, economy. economy. Oh, you came to Bulgaria to study. <laughs> How's your life here? Are, are people nice to you? Do you feel welcome here? Yeah, I'm great here. Nice people. Nice people? I see that there's two empty seats on either side of the door. <laughs> Is that like the buffer zone? So there's the West Bank, that's Gaza. Just, uh, you know? <laughs> uh, a chair without the people, for the people without the chair, right? <laughs> huh? They left their stuff here. And you're like, it's mine now. It's, uh, it says in the Bible, 3,500 years ago, I own this chair, I own this chair, I own all the chair. American comics who stand with justice and against Israel's occupation have expressed frustration towards other comics who are hesitant to talk about Gaza on stage, particularly comedians who pride themselves on standing up for free speech. One pro-Palestinian comedian asked, how can they boast about being a comic who talks about what's happening in the world while not talking about the greatest moral conundrum of our time, the genocide in Gaza, end quote. Encouragingly, however, not all American comics have cowered in the face of Israeli threats and pressure, with New York-based Phil Chapman delivering this knockout punch against Israel's international law violations. Take it in an Israeli refugee, because... <laughs> I'd be a bit worried. Do you know what I mean? First thing, I'm giving him a shelf from the fridge. Next thing, you know, I'm sleeping in my own shed. <laughs> Oh, the missus coming over me. <laughs> the toilet's occupied. What do you mean the toilet's <laughs> occupied? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you laughed at that because I could have been. Could have gone. Could have got me cancelled, could have. I did, I did that joke the other week and I got booed quite heavily. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know, if you don't like the joke, you're free to leave. I like to speak with Gaza. Um, On the other side of the pond, British comic Amir Rahman absolutely destroyed the Zionist claim that Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East. He says that it's the only democracy in the Middle East, which is fine. That's fine. You just have to complete the sentence, right? The only democracy in the Middle East that gets $4 billion in military aid from the United States every year. The only democracy in the Middle East that uses white phosphorus on civilians. The only democracy in the Middle East that refers to starving a trapped population as putting Gazans on a diet. The only democracy in the Middle East that refers to bombing that same population as mowing the lawn. Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East whose soldiers make TikToks of their war crimes. The only democracy in the Middle East. Israel is the biggest fucking Karen in the Middle East, okay? <laughs> A white woman who moves into someone else's neighborhood 
then says she doesn't feel safe and continually calls the police to terrorize the locals, okay? Just a brat with an unlimited murder budget. Dad, I need $14 billion for my ethno state. <laughs> the United States is like this drunk, rich, alcoholic dad who's like, all right, be good, don't spend it all at once. It's sad, not funny, that comedians have been more effective in countering Israeli propaganda, lies and disinformation than journalists in the mainstream media and our elected political leaders. It's almost like the powerful Israeli lobby has bribed and coerced every politician and media outlet into parroting the Zionist narrative. It really is something. They should be embarrassed that Israeli comedians like Asaf Harrell is willing to speak truth about his country's war crimes when American and European political leaders are silent. מאז שממשלת הימין בשלטון נשמעים יותר ויותר קולות המזהירים מהאפרטהייד. אתם עושים צחוק. האפרטהייד כבר מזמן פה, מזמן. אנחנו פשוט בצד הנוח שלו, אז הוא לא כזה מפריע לנו. שנים אנחנו כבר מתעללים על בסיס יומי בפלסטינים, מונעים מהם זכויות בסיסיות. ביהודה ושומרון לוקחים להם קרקעות. פעם עוד גייסנו כספים דרך הקרן הקיימת לקנות מהם את האדמה, היום מעבירים חוק שאפשר לקחת אדמות וזהו. חיילים יורים במיידי אבנים פלסטינים כי הם סכנה אמיתית, אבל אם בישראל מיידים אבנים זה אפילו לא יגיע לכתב אישום. עוצרים עיתונאים פלסטינים במעצר מנהלי, בלי משפט, בגלל שהם כתבו משהו. כל פעם שאצלנו יש חג או שמחה הם בעוצר, שחלילה לא יהרסו לנו. שנים אנחנו מעמיקים את השנאה, אותה שנאה שאחר כך נתלונן עליה בכל משא ומתן. למה אתם מסיתים את הילדים שלכם נגדנו? למה אתם לא מלמדים אותם לאהוב אותנו? Every one of these comedians stands for peace, justice, equality and the rule of law. But not all Israeli comics are as morally courageous as Asif Harrell. His Jewish colleagues are using their profiles to demand Palestinians suffer more, while claiming Gaza is now Jewish territory. Somehow, Zionism has misled Israeli comics into believing that punching downwards onto victims of oppression and injustice is clever, insightful and amusing. When every good comic knows that good humor punches upwards and against those who abuse power. And no state has abused its military power more than the apartheid state of Israel. It's totally oblivious to the fact that comedy was successfully deployed by anti-racist activists in apartheid South Africa to build a coalition of global support against the white apartheid regime in the 1980s. And comedy, you mark my words, will deliver yet another dagger into the heart of the dying Zionist state. But that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask you please support our effort to expose and confront injustices in the Muslim world by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help and we offer exclusive benefits and content to those who do. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are and stay blessed. Thank you.